Greetings once again to the lovely land of Nottingham, where we have uh, just won 2-0 against Sheffield Wednesday, thanks to Arkas and Colback. Arkas scoring from a, a corner, which didn't quite work out as I would have wanted, but it was headed back across goal. Freeman, who had come in for Amiobi on the left-hand side, managed to control the ball and, and knock it back across the box. And uh, Arkas picked it up and on his second touch, smashed it into the awaiting net. Then Colback on a lung-busting run through the centre of midfield. Player 1-2, again with Arkas, who was uh, pretty much the man of the match, and uh, managed to poke it away after stumbling from the challenge that was put in on him on the edge of the penalty area. He managed to keep his feet and he managed to uh, toe-poke it past the goalkeeper. And that is where you find us with that 2-0 victory. Uh, I think that's the only game that we've played since, uh, yep, yeah, 1 0 against Reading was the last game that we saw together, and of course, the loss against Swansea was the game before that. So, today is uh, Nottingham Forest versus Blackburn Rovers uh, again at the city ground. I'm hoping that we can get a, uh, a similar performance as we got last time out. I was actually quite taken with Amiobi playing on that side of the pitch. Uh, sorry, not Amiobi, Freeman playing on that side of the pitch. So once again, I am going to play him in that role. And we're just going to drop him just back enough that he becomes a left midfielder. And also with Arkas, I'm just going to move him far enough forward that he becomes a support striker. This worked out very nicely for us last time, and it actually encouraged uh, Colback to move into the centre of midfield, given that he was... Uh, marked down as being a, uh, a centre midfielder for that game. I mean, he's not the best all-round midfielder in the world. Um, in fact, Sow is a better midfielder than uh, than Colback is in the centre of the park. But he did a good job, so I'm going to keep faith of him. And uh, if he doesn't play particularly well, then we have options on the bench. Of course, Harry Arter is the uh, the man I'm thinking of. Uh, as well as uh, Basharu being able to play in that position as well. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Christy on the right-hand side, as I said last episode. I did actually play Jenkinson in the last match, and he played okay. Uh, but uh, I, I I think that really we should be playing our uh, best players. And uh, speaking of playing our best players, I've completely forgotten once again uh, to... Uh, actually, Taylor hasn't done anything for me. I think we might actually move him on. So let's go with Amiobi and Guerrero as the out-and-out -out attacking options. And uh, there we go, Yuri Ribeiro on the bench. Ionu has been a revelation at left-back, despite the fact that he's only really rated at a 68. He's stronger than Yuri Ribeiro is. Uh, but that's literally the only thing he's better at. He's not good defensively. He's not as good speed or dribbling-wise. He can't shoot as well. He can't pass anywhere near as well. But for whatever reason... He's been playing very, very well for us. So he has uh, managed to earn himself a place in the starting 11. McKenna will play despite the fact that he's on an orange arrow. Um, Lewis Holtby playing for Blackburn Rovers. There's a name that I haven't heard for a hot minute. Let's see if he can get a performance out of his legs today. And let's hope that we can get a performance out of our boys. Attack is the issue for us at the moment. Defensively... We've not been terrible. We have leaked the odd one goal here or there, but uh, we're averaging less than a goal conceded a game, I think. We'll have to have a look at the league table to confirm that. But I feel fairly, uh, fairly confident in saying that we are conceding less than a goal a game as we kick off here at the city ground against Blackburn Rovers. So... Oh, Arkas just wrong-footed by that pass that he wasn't expecting. It's a shame. Freeman. Oh, nearly. Colback picks up ball middle of the park. Good strength being shown by Freeman. Cross into the box, grabbing underneath it, looks to head it on. Oh, Graben's through. Oh, it's a great save. It's a great save from the goalkeeper.
defender didn't get everything on it and actually did grab in a massive favour by taking a lot of the pace off of that through ball. And we end up with a corner kick here. Should come out to Christie. Oof, I don't know what McKenna was trying there, but it looked illegal. Freeman chasing the ball down the left-hand side. They're trying to move it across. Graben now. Arkas and Graben doing a great job, along with Freeman. Oh, dear. Sal was just closing back on his player. And as a result, the header goes straight past him. Oh, Arkas, if he'd continued the run, he would have had the ball. That's a shame. As the ball is played, raking across. Arkas picks it up deep, out to Freeman. Still Freeman. Still Freeman. St <laughs> I thought he was going to go the whole way. Grab him! Oh, he's off the post. I thought he was going to score. Freeman causing all kinds of uncertainty in the middle of the box there. Sorry, in the middle of the D. And in the end, the ball squirts out and Graben very nearly gets himself another goal for the season. We're not making clear-cut chances, but we are making chances nonetheless. By hook or by crook. Colback tries to win the ball, can't quite manage it. Sal does the same, gives away a foul. It's just going to be an, a free kick here. Which will be taken by Lewis Holtby. Good header by McKenna. Wins the second tackle, that's excellent. And plays it up to Arkas, who plays a very cheeky ball around the corner for Freeman. Graben just offside. Thought he might have held his run there, but no, it was just a shade. But it was enough to have him off. So Dirty Arkis takes the kick. Graben might win that. No, he doesn't quite manage to win the ball. Sal did a great job of winning it in the air, but in the end couldn't put it in a place where Graben was able to uh, to win it unimpeded. And again, the header just falling to a Blackburn boot rather than a Nottingham Forest player. I don't like it when that happens too often in a row. You get the feeling that momentum is going the way of the opposition. Ball played into the box. McKenna underneath it. Again, Sal unable to get to the ball. Evans now. Oh, good tackle from Sal. And away we come. Lolly. Back into Graben. Back to... Oh, no. Great header from the short stack, Colback. Graben not quick enough to cut the ball out. Christie will look to defend on this right-hand side. Rothwell goes past him. This could be dangerous. Rothwell's inside the box, looks for the cross. Good, strong tackle from the number four. Worrell earning his corn today. It's going to be a throw-in. And the goalkeeper manages to avoid red faces by picking up the ball that was headed back to him by his defender and now Forrest again with possession a little bit more patient in build up here until Freeman gives it away needlessly wasn't the pass I was looking for actually just wanted to play it's a simple ball to Arkas but it never came 
Now here they come with Armstrong. Good ball up the middle. Rothwell's got it. Worrell manages to dispossess him. And there's the half-time whistle. It's nil-nil here. Decent first-half performance from both teams. Neither one really wanting to let slip. Forrest with a couple of decent chances. But they were denied first by the goalkeeper and then by the, uh, by the woodwork. And off we go for the second half. Daniel Ayala at the back to Lenihan. I'm fully occupied at the moment. Oh, Arcas completely missing the ball when it would have been easier just to put his foot on it. Played up the line. McKenna underneath, manages to head the ball away, gets it to Sal. And now perhaps a counter-attack. Here's Freeman. Dinks it into Arcas. Lovely ball. Back outside to Freeman. Crossing coming. Graben. Oh! Acrobatic effort from the striker. Colback wins the header again. Christie. Ah, uh, no. Not quite. Played it a little bit too direct. And uh, I tell you what, Blackburn are on the break here and they could cause us a bit of an issue. Christie covering the wide right. He's not going to be able to get the tackle in. Oh, I don't know, though. No, he's giving him too much space. And I thought for a second I was going to be furious at the deflection. It's the corner. Going to have to be alert to this. Freeman covering the short option. Forcing Blackburn, hopefully, into going for the cross into the box, which they do. And now away we come. Arcas leading the line. Three defenders back. Ugh. Complete waste. Complete waste. It's nice from Colback, though. Don't know where that cross was supposed to go. Lolly can't keep hold of the ball. It's a shame. Freeman just has the ball taken off of his toes. No excuse there whatsoever. Lolly tracking back, doing good defensive work. Looking for Freeman in the middle. Couldn't quite get to him. Ah, uh, Just not happening for us at the moment. I see good things. But they don't come to fru fruition. Through ball for Arcas. Oh, come off it. That would have been an infuriating goal to concede. Such a simple setup as well. should have that covered. 
and does. Graben turns his man, but there's a second one guarding. And I think there was a foul off the ball by a Forest player, so it's going to be called back for a Blackburn free kick. Double change made. Ribeiro and Arta coming on for Ionu and Colback. Poor pass there, really. No excuse for it, just not enough power on it. And it ran out of steam. Oh, I've let him open. It's a goal, it's all my fault. I pulled the defender away from the man. And in the 87th minute, Forest Hearts are broken by Brereton. can see here as soon as he plays it I come across with McKenna it opens it up and Worrell can't get across quick enough to cover for his partner it's a silly silly mistake especially since there was a defender already on the man and that will be that now Blackburn will shut up shop they've been difficult enough to get past as it is They've got everyone behind the ball. Uh, yeah, we might as well go home now, boys. There it is. A disappointing 1-0 loss, which really, when we look at the stats, I'm pretty sure we were the better team. No, we weren't. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, I have no excuse. I'm a terrible Pez player. I fucking suck. There's nothing else that can really be said other than that. So there we go. Let's have a look and see what that does for Christie with a 4.5. I think we're going to go back to Jenkinson, frankly. He's got his weaknesses. But for some reason, we, we play better with him in the side than not. Uh, let's have a look at the other results today. Watford with a 1-0 win means they solidify their place in second place. Norwich losing 1-0. We've thrown away an opportunity to gain on them there then. And Bournemouth winning 1-0 as well. Let's have a look at the table. You can see we're still in fourth place. But we could have been so much closer to third. We really could have been. Could have been on 68 points. Only three points behind Norwich instead. We are still four points out of fifth. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's not ideal. Uh, another win was really what we were after. And we've ended up losing there. So... There we go. Uh, as I was saying before, we I've only conceded 19 goals all season. So defensively, we have not got a problem. The problem is going forward, where you can see we are the lowest scorers in the top 12 now. 
that's something that we need to address uh, more so me than anyone else but there we are so that'll do for another episode until next time I don't know what we'll be doing who we'll be playing but uh, rest assured we will return tomorrow till then bye bye